This morning I'm at the SAC Aerospace Museum. I believe this is in Ashland, Nebraska. Uh, SAC stands for Strategic Air Command. Uh, when I first joined the Air Force, I was in SAC. And right there behind that sign is the uh, B-1 bomber. Now, it's my first time at this museum. It might be something similar to what uh, we saw at the museum in Dayton, Ohio. I don't know. So this is the entrance way. Over there, off in the distance, is a very large American flag. And this is the access road. I had mentioned several times before that uh, one of the best life decisions I've ever made was enlisting in the United States Air Force uh, right out of high school. I have to admit, uh, it placed me on a path, and it was really an unexpected path, to, I would think, a reasonably successful life. I mean, the Air Force wasn't all easy, especially in the beginning. But uh, I'll say about maybe halfway through, then things smoothed out. And that's because I acquired lots of rank and responsibility. Rank has its privileges, as the saying goes. In the Air Force, I was able to earn three degrees, uh, two bachelor's degrees, uh, one in business administration, one in electronics technology, and another one in instructional systems development. What you see on that building over there, that's the uh, SAC symbol. I used to wear that patch on our uniform. But I was not only in SAC, uh, I was also in what's called MAC, big cargo aircraft, transport aircraft, and uh, TAC, Tactical Air Command. This looks like the Thor missile. Now, I don't uh, glorify weapons. I'm actually 100% against war. I believe that uh, sitting at a table and talking things out is the best solution. I know that it's not 100% realistic, but uh, you expend all options before dropping bombs and uh, bombing someone or being bombed into submission. Yes, this is the uh, Thor Intermediate uh, Range Ballistic Missile. This is called the Blue Scout Rocket. As I was saying, I'm 100% against war. In fact, all forms of violence, large and small. It's a shame that we live in a world, I'm gonna say this, I don't wanna offend anyone, but it is a fact. We live in a world so full of religion that uh, it's a dangerous place to live. We're full of conflict and contention. And you would think that in a world so full of religion that uh, that would not be so. So what's wrong? Is it us? Is it the religion? The teachings? Are people not paying attention? Or is it just something that uh, many just wear like uh, clothing? They wear it on a Sunday or whenever they have their meetings or services. And when that ends, they take it off. Let's take a look inside.
Well, I recognize this beast. This is the SR-71 spy plane. It is impressive up close. This is the U-2. We saw this at the uh, Air Force Museum in Dayton, Ohio. This is essentially, uh, it's a reconnaissance aircraft, but it's also, uh, it's built like a glider. We're looking at a B-17. This is a F-101B model. Again, the F designator stands for fighter. And as you can see in the cockpit, you had a pilot in the front and a co-pilot or a navigations person sitting in the back. I believe this is a T-33 or a modified T-33, a trainer. And uh, I worked uh, on these when I was uh, in California, Castle Air Force Base. This is a really impressive uh, collection of aircraft that they have in here. See right there, these are guns. And the uh, tour guide said that these right here were painted broomsticks, that they would resemble guns. What a fake out, huh? This is the B-25. President Trump and his State of the Union recognized uh, Tuskegee Airmen who had just turned 100. You saw that he promoted him on the spot, Brigadier General. Okay. So, this is a salute to the black airmen who were treated very horribly at first. The United States forces were segregated. But we had a, a large group of black Americans say, hey, this is our country too. We were fighting for it. So a couple of senators went up to Congress and asked all the troops that they came to uh, begin a flight uh, test, Tuskegee test. And eventually, This is the B-36. It's Bombay. And I'll, you'll understand in a moment. Okay, uh, this is the rear of uh, uh, Bombay. We have gone through here. This is massive. That's where they dropped the bombs from. Size of this thing is humongous. One, two, three engines on this wing and three on the other. Look at that landing gear and the size of those wheels. That is one cool jacket. This is the B-52. This is the F-4.
targets on the ground like this is the B-58? This is just another angle of the B-111, the hydraulics nightmare, and the F-4 Phantom. This is the C-119B, known as the flying boxcar, and you can see we have the uh, two vertical stabilizers. Looks like a box car. Helicopter there. And this one here. This is our 911 section, which is now where office is. They also made a military box car. You see that box? Yeah. This is the B-29, the lucky lady. This right here is a tribute to the Twin Towers. These are ties. Make 21. 